That button check turned to three minutes or a whole ass game, <laughs> and you know, that's where I got an issue. Our Bowser versus Nick. Of course, if you three, saw Nightmare on Smashville, you're probably one, thinking of the same go. set I'm thinking of, which is Leon versus Salem, loser semis. I initially thought that this would be in Snake's favor because he could just, you know, zone out Bowser. But honestly, Leon put up a great showing, and I would say after seeing that, this matchup is even. And it could even be Bowser favor. Because, like, if he's able to get in and, like, break Snake's zone, there is not much that Snake can do. Yeah. I mean, but that's the key word. That's if Bowser's able to yes. go ahead and get in. I'd say it's a little more leaning towards Snake's side just because of the edge guard ability. But on stage, yeah, Bowser's able to go ahead in there with those fantastic moments that he has and then possessing the ability to armor with all of his tilts and his smash attacks, Snake's going to have a rough time. Right, but Bowser will have a rough time too, especially with that recovery. Against that Nikita, he, he had nowhere to go. That one game, like, followed him to that with the Nikita and took that first stock, and this is looking pretty good for that one. Okay, game. okay. <laughs> Thank God, actually, <laughs> looking for that up. I don't even think that would have killed. I saw Leon going for that a lot as well against Salem, and I'm is this like a thing in the matchup, or are Bowser players just like, uh, you never Well, if I'm not mistaken. Well, uh. Oh, Sid. Oh, oh like Sid. Oh, Sid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sid, Nate, why'd you leave her in charge? Okay, but well, like I was saying, um, if I'm not mistaken, Cypher is actually percent-based. So okay. as long as you have the right okay. percentage, you can go ahead and beat it out. Okay, okay back to the match. Okay. Yo, but Nikita coming through anyway. <laughs> Where are you going? Running through. Has to shield that Nikita, otherwise it might have been killed him because I believe the Oh my the goodness, longer... that shield is just non-existent right now. Oh, okay, good. okay, That's that one guy, you deserve this W. Setting up the zone with Nikita up back. Down tilt to keep him at the right side. He tries to air dodge through it. Oh, great recovery. The back throw? That might just kill No, 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 no. You don't need a back throw. Right. He's, he's at, at 160 to hit that down throw into the up throw. That's, that's the Gibbler confirmed right there. I remember the video about that, and then suddenly every snake was doing it. Thanks, Gibber. <laughs> That's usually what happens when you get some type of technology in any fighting game. Once it once it is made public, everyone's gonna be following. It. All right, Ben Gold trying to get a few hits and trying to push his advantage, but every time he just gets like pushed away by the grenade. Yeah, I mean, really. he needs to get this. Yes, the Bowser slam. Not. Won't do it just yet. Great punish on him. Now, Ben Gold, he certainly has a fighting chance, especially with Bowser's throw combo. Yeah, I mean, he's only sitting at 58%. All he needs is a couple of grabs to be A-OK. -okay. And using the grenade to his advantage, getting full armor off of that grab. Yeah, that's one thing I've heard that's good about this matchup from for Bowser, is that in the right situations, he can get some really good hits off of grenade trades, up to and including uh, back which could seal the start. All right, really, but just really. like that, Ben Gold bringing this all the way back, only down by about 7%, but after that, back air is actually up. Can that one guy go ahead and get a hit in? Oh, he can. Up smash is going to get Ben Gold right back to the opposite side of the stage, tossing up the Sinead, tossing up the Nikita. All right, this is such a close situation, but Ben Gold just runs in, and side Bs won't kill just yet. Snake's pretty heavy, and that recovery will get punished. Ben Gold clutching out the first game. He, he does not look happy. No, he, no, no. he doesn't like being so even with that one guy. <laughs> He's upset that like that first stock was just a wash. He was just non-existent for a hot minute. And then, you know, he eventually was like, you know what? I see the pattern that this guy is doing. He is not changing up what he's doing with these grenades with this Nikita. And you know, if you're gonna keep tossing those Nikita in neutral, he's gonna run right around it. Cause all he's doing is like tossing it out and then trying to come back around. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's like a common thing among top players, especially during upset potential. Sometimes they won't do so well in like the first game or maybe in the start of game two. But the more you play, the more quickly they'll adapt. And soon enough, you'll They'll, they'll just learn, they'll download complete, and then it's just a watch. So everyone would be surprised if this game was a lot more dominating <laughs> for Ben Gold. All right, so I, I just got to say, this is the greatest counterpick coming out from that one guy. Using full advantage 
Oh, oh, the stay didn't even need it. My man just went in. But like I was trying to say, he's taking full advantage of the stage, of this dark background. Once the red light from the C4 is gone, there is no way to track that thing. Oh yeah, it actually blends in. You know, it's like you got those red stars in the background. That's he's, like he's using the black alt too. My man is definitely disguised. This is the big red light. He is actually playing Snake, coming out with the camouflage on Balloon Fight. Yeah, no, he is definitely playing Metal oh, here at the no, moment. Okay. Looking for the RPG as well, not gonna get it. Has the one, two, out from Ben Gold, the run up forward tilt as well. That yeah. one guy with nowhere to run. Rolling to the ledge, never a safe option, and Ben Gold anticipating it. Easy forward tilt, easy stock for Ben Gold. All right, there we go. That one guy trying to set up again, tossing the grenade down. Didn't get anything out of it, but finally able to find that forward tilt as well. Nikita. Wow, forced him to go ahead and shield, and now he is just in a dangerous spot. What, as a Bowser, yes, you do possess a very good ledge game trying to go ahead and get up defensively. It's just against a snake. It's so hard, so you have to deal with the onslaught of projectiles just coming at you. Oh, he could have easily punished that Cypher recovery from that one guy, but instead, he, he went for it all with the Forge Man. Instead, though, He's in a very dire situation. Right, ben Gold staying with it, able to go ahead and track down that one guy, landing the side B command grab. Oh my goodness. Back here, put on some damage, nothing else though. Whoa, Bowser Bomb. The lead drum actually working out for Ben Gold. Another four tilt takes another stock. And once oh, again, he stuck we have him. a last stock situation. Oh, he, he oh. stuck him, that's on Bowser's big ass toe. Oh no, it fell off of the nose. <laughs> Yeah, when, when, when they were intersecting between one another, it was definitely out of there. But Ben Gold still keeping it up forward, air, sending that one guy back to the ledge. Up B. Let's go ahead and cover that roll as well. All right, that one guy has to recover high. Falling with the back air. Very smart option. The aggressive approach. Tries Ooh. to end it all with a forward smash, but we are still living even with that conversion. Yeah, he just needed a couple and more percent. He just for does it again. <laughs> yep. And that one guy put on quite a showing. But looks like Ben Gold will clutch it out. Still shaking his head. He, he did not like having such a close set. 